Okay, so I'm finished rearranging and I've done one of these videos before but um, I imagine you guys would want to see an updated version of my collection. So, starting over here in the corner, this is my work desk. This is where I get all my work done, all the customs I make and pretty much my fallout shrine where I have all my fallout stuff. Pops, Storbs, Mystery Minis, Customs, pretty cool. This is actually one of the first glow in the dark customs I made. It was a glowing one and it glows like absolute best thing ever. And um, Pixel Pals. Got this one company Pip Boy. This is like the prize of my um Fallout collection. Got some mystery minis, some customs. Now, the problem with me and my Fallout collection is I love customizing them, so I make tons of customs for myself and pretty much just keep them in my collection. Got Jaws here, some vinyls. My 10 inches, some 3 0 power armors, some cool lights, some 10 inches, and then we move over to my TV stand where it's pretty much now been taken over by Pops as well. So you got 10 inch Pops here, you got some hot toys. Um, I used to collect a lot of hot toys, but not so much anymore. And um, we've got some <coughs> DC collectibles, we've got the Minga figures here. Got some NECA Crash. These things are like the best ever. So cool. Got some movie moments too. And we got some customs I made, some Ricky Morty customs. And the other one. Uh, quite like making one big Ricky Morty custom per year. So maybe this year I'll do another one. And we got my little um, table stand here. In fact, actually, hold on, what else have we got up here? We've got some 10 inch. They're not 10 inch, we got another Howard the Duck, got a Ghost Rider, got some of these little, uh, uh, what are they called again? Disney Toy Box figures, these things are awesome. I don't own many of them, but the ones they release are pretty damn sweet. Uh, but yeah, back down to my light stand. We've got some, one of my favourite pop rides ever, it's pretty sweet. Portal Gun, some movie moments hidden back here too. And then down here we've got, um, <clears throat> so my son used to collect. Disney Infinity figures and basically he's done with them now so I get to keep these collector stand which is pretty cool. It used to light up so I'll be able to place the batteries in there once. Um, Disney Infinity figures are awesome. They really don't get as much praise as they should I don't think. The design on these things is great. Um, so yeah he's got a crap ton of those things. Got my glass cabinet here. It has tons of stuff. Some hot toys in the back there. Some dwarves. Some cos babies and pops. And we've got more Hot Toys here, pretty much mostly Iron Man, the Hot Toys I collect, um, more Cause Babies and some Customs by my buddy Mike. And then we've got my gaming section, so this is pretty much Destiny 2, uh, Destiny 1 and uh, what's this called, I can't actually remember, Titanfall, that's it. Got some Cause Babies up the back there too, and then my Batman Shrine, some Cause Babies, some Wobblers. Artist mixed figure by Hot Toys and a Hot Toys Batman and Bat Light, Bat Signal, sorry. And on top here, I've got a ton of random stuff. Um, I've yet to actually organise these into sections, so it's pretty much just a wild mix of whatever I've decided to put in this shelf. Um, got my line of Mystery uh, Pint Size Heroes here, Rick and Morty. The only Pint Size Hero collection that I've actually completed. Got some wobblers up the back here. My favourite ever wobbler, the Whole Panther Chase. Um, got some customs I made years ago here, some metal uh, Gigantor figures. 10 inch Thanos, uh, 6 inch Thanos, 8 inch uh, Thanos and Thrawn. I'm tired, I've been working in this room all day. Um, then we've got my main shelf here, with pretty much just a mix of all the pops that I've got. My custom Hulk, which is one of my favourite customs ever. Random pops, and I got some random stuff tagged on here. Lanyards, pins by my man Chizo. Then we got my Marvel chess collection. I don't play chess. I just <laughs> decided that I wanted to own the entire Marvel chess collection. Maybe one day. My one and only Pez. Um, the rest of my collection here. Just a wild mix of pretty much everything. Then we've got my Iron Man collection down here. So I've got my quarter scale Iron Man Hot Toys, which is like the gem of this collection. 
I've got my Cat Toys Cap Shield and Mjolnir. And both of these are really hard metal. So, um, pretty heavy. And the thing is, see when I bought these, um, it's when Mjolnir got destroyed in Ragnarok. And I was kind of bummed out. I thought, well, now I've got an, an old hammer. But Endgame sorted that, so thank you Endgame. And got my other Hot Toys here. Some movie moments. And pretty much just a random mix of stuff here again. Some Spider-Man, Rick and Morty. Um, Fallout. Got my Dorb shelf here along with the Resident Evil shelf. And the um, X-Ray Jason Freeney figures. These are awesome. Random mix of pops here too. Then we've got my main Dorb shelf here. Got tons of Dorbs. And then just my stack of randoms, which is pretty sweet. Managed to squeeze in some 10 inches here today. And then also, I finally found a place for my Geeky Tikis. These things were awesome, but because I've had no space, they've basically just been lying in a pile. But I've finally found somewhere to put them. And then sadly, I haven't found a place for these yet, but I will soon. These are some of my favourite figures ever. And um, they're actually the figures that sort of spurred me on to start doing sketch customs. Um, the Jim Lee DC Batman and Superman sketch figures. These are awesome. Some of my favourites. Um, the boxes are just really large, so they're kind of hard to find somewhere to actually display them. But these are two of my favourites. <clears throat> then we'll get back to the main shelf here. Mostly old dorbs. Um, got some other stuff here. Got a prototype. Vault Boy Keychain, which is one of my faves, and then got Glow in the Dark Vault Boy Keychain. What else have we got? So I've got my bed. I've even invaded my bed now. So my Rick and Morty collection is pretty much mostly on my bed here. And then I've got another shelf here. Um which is pretty dull. Hold on, I'm gonna get a light onto this thing. See if I can light it up for you. No, it's bare. There we go. So pretty much just a big mix of Rick and Morty, most of my Rick and Morty collections here. And then my glow section, so I keep all my glow pops here. And they look pretty sweet when the lights go off at night. Which is pretty cool. And then I've got some prints here as well. And actually, speaking of prints, I've got a wee hidden one of my favourite prints around as the um, Fallout print I have in the corner here. This thing's awesome. Um, there's so many cool Fallout prints that I would love, but I just don't have much space. I mean, I do have this big wall, but yeah, I don't want to hang too many prints on that just now. But yeah, that's my collection. I have a crap ton of stuff, and I've managed to pretty much jiggle it all about so I can fit most of the things in. I've been left with a tiny little pile here, which is good, considering like half the floor was full with random pops. So I'm pretty happy I've managed to squeeze it all in. So yeah, that's my collection. I hope you guys liked the little insight here. And I'll keep updating once I start getting more stuff and changing about the collection. Oh, and to end the collection, Sexy Ian Malcolm on top of my TV. Oh yes. <laughs>